Hey there everyone, Redneck Brian here. Welcome to part two of the Roper 4x2 build. As you can see, the frame is just about there. I've actually cut the frame rails down now. They were sticking out quite a bit further in the previous video. Here is this the piece that came off the bottom. Right there. I'll figure out a use for that sometime. And these are the two pieces. Yeah, right here from the top. So, yeah. So, as you can see, it's cut the length. I got the full new steel all the way to the end, which I wanted. None of this is none of this rear part is attached yet. Um, the reason why I had to cut the front so short is because um, where I'm putting the rear end. The stock rear end for this would have been these back holes, but. On these tractors, you can put the rear end in one of two different locations by drilling just uh, three more holes. You have it back there. It is, the bracket uses these three holes here and these two holes right here. But what I'm going to do is the back bracket is going to go to these two holes right here. Now redrill the front holes for the uh, support. What it's going to do is it's going to shorten up the wheelbase a bit, but keep it sticking over the back. And I think it will have better uh, weight ratios and it will load it down more and it should take care of any flex in the middle. The bed length is approximately 42 inches right now. That's how much it's sticking out the back is uh, 42 inches, which is pretty good. A little over three feet. Yeah, a little over three feet, which is pretty good. So right there is the 42 inch mark. And it can go out a bit more if I build a wooden bed. It can go out a bit more beyond that but when you're sitting on here and you're driving something this long it's already difficult to drive so I didn't want to really go out much farther than what I what I have here so that's the main reason why I cut it down to where I did and like I said if I want any longer just uh, I'll be putting the wooden sleepers on here the deck boards will be attached to when I build a floor and they can just go a little bit longer. I'll probably go about another 12 inches beyond there. So be what, uh, instead of 42 will be 50, 54 inches, which won't be too bad, a little over four feet. So that won't be too bad. So I'm going to get started on this again. I ran out of welding wire yesterday, so I could not finish doing the welds. I know some people are saying, oh, I hope you're going to do more welds. I just did that video, and that's the last video I made. I did do some more welds after that. I just uh, didn't didn't show my final my final product. So I could even extend this little frame rail back a bit more, but I am not going to. I want the strength. So I got on each side. It's hanging in about six and a half inches, which is pretty good. So I want the strength of the original rear frame still. So with obviously with the new steel. I still gotta clean up this that has all the uh, all the little threads underneath where you, where you can attach the bolts through. So I gotta clean all that off so this will sit flush. Then I'm gonna use all those holes and just gonna weld right through all those existing holes, weld it in, and uh, be done with it. So it's a little bit windy, I should be able to weld, so I gotta get the generator back out and uh, get this thing finished up. I am going to be drilling and bolting it a bit more. I mainly want to get two down there and I'd like to get three on the top on each side. So, and then up front here I'd like to get two or three more. So that's say six, twelve, sixteen more roughly. So that's, uh, that's what I'm at so far so stay tuned. Okay, update time. The frame is just about done. I gotta put some uh, support in in the middle and I gotta straighten out a bit. It's off by not much, but uh, straighten out a bit. I'm gonna leave it here for the night. The whole back half is done, or not done, it's uh, just tack it tacked on at uh, low setting on my welder. And uh, got the back plate on. That's the one that was already on the roper. And I'm gonna send the other one to the Mr. Tracker 14. So, but yeah, it, it's looking pretty good now. I'm um, just gonna leave it right like that. The the jack is just gonna hold up the back end. 
all night and uh, that's pretty much it but um, looking at the front end of this and if I do find one I might convert this over to the Craftsman 2 front end I don't know yet um, just looking at this front end and it's not the prettiest um, or I'll try to fix it up a bit more I don't know if I want to run those big, fen big uh, fenders or not on the front so we'll see um, I just want to clean up the front end a bit make it look a little bit better. I do like the roper, but um, the front end on this is in pretty tough condition. So, because it's a fiberglass hood and front fenders. But uh, anyways, it's uh, it's getting there. It's uh, just about done. I did some more welding. I, I, I couldn't finish up last night because I ran out of wire and tips, and then my welder is not working too good right now. It's working, but... Um, the part where the tip goes into is starting to strip out and uh, yeah I'm gonna try to run a small tap through there and see if I can fix up the threads but if I can't I can still use it but the uh, tip doesn't go in very far but uh, that's uh, pretty much it um, I have not been able to find a new pulley for the uh, for basically the middle axle or the rear axle yet because so I got to um, I gotta put a uh, two pulleys here so I can run a single pulley out back, but I got just gotta match the sizes. So I'm working on that still, and tires will stay off. It's gonna stay like this all night, and I'll, if it doesn't rain tomorrow, I'll finish welding all this tomorrow. There is rain in the forecast, but it may change. You never know. So I'll talk to you later. Please keep it redneck like always, and uh, please subscribe and comment. Oh, and a uh, few people told me about a video about a uh, dump truck tractor. I'm going to look for it tonight and uh, check it out. Bye for now.